So while it may not look like it, uh, a lot is <laughs> a lot has gone into making this video. Um, yeah, I, not not too much, but it's been a lot of uh, failed attempts, mostly uh, on my part. I set up some hotkeys on the recording equipment to, or on the software. I'm sorry. And the, you know the purpose of it was to make some things easier, and you know there's a logic to that. But I kept getting other things that also had to be responded to, and uh, in the course of typing, I stopped several of the previous videos I was trying to to have for everyone. So it did not really work out at all as I had planned. Uh, anyways, the, the, there's a little bit to, to to fill you in on, not too much, uh, but a little bit. Uh, so the latest patch of the game of the developers uh, patch came out uh, no like really really grand changes that, that I can announce uh, you know, the new game is pretty much the same as the old game uh, I noticed I was getting a lot of FPS lag when I zoomed in all the way on uh, the campaign map but to me the battle maps look even better than they did before. It it may be pure insanity on my part, and that's to be expected, I think, at this point. But uh, I'm, I feel like I'm getting less lag on the maps, and this is one where this is uh, at least on my side, it's it's big numbers. It's not particularly big for the Union. I'm not sure if there are supposed to be reinforcements or not. They're reporting a casualty rate already, and I actually tried one earlier version of this when I was. Trying to do some other things, and then it immediately put me into nighttime mode and replenishment, and then it spawned like one of my armies over here, and that was right in the middle of a Union line. So I, I think I might have misclicked something, uh, but there was no Union army down here, as we just saw. There actually is a Union army down there, so I'm, I'm not terribly sure what's going on there. Uh, I haven't done anything with skirmishers or anything like that yet in this battle, though I should. Um, not sure how those guys are getting an angle, how my artillery is getting an angle on them. But as with other things in this game, I, I kind of prefer that my artillery and, if I have to, my skirmishers will end up doing a lot of the work rather than the, the line infantry. Uh, we've got a lot of artillery on this map. Oh, and kind of how we got here. So this is in the wake of a big battle in which we, we pretty much shellacked the, the Union Army. Um, that does not look right. So we did that. Sorry, my cat just uh, apparently didn't like what my headphones looked like or were saying, so he just swatted them off my head. But uh, yeah, that that's actually not really that remarkable. But <clears throat> uh, anyways, yeah, in the last battle. Uh, we had beat them pretty badly right on the border between Northern Virginia and Maryland. And so then there were supposed to be some other battles. They never materialized. Most of the Union armies uh, fell back. Uh, and we then pushed toward Baltimore with the armies that were there. Lane's army, which had been uh, coming, I think it was in Ohio for the last battle, my cat's staring down my, my microphone, so he's got to get tossed aside, not out. Um, <clears throat> Uh-oh. <laughs> That's what happens when we're trying to do too many things at once. I, I kind of figure on, on a map where there's a lot going on, I'm more likely to screw up. Basically, on a map where I outnumber, I'm expecting to screw up more than on a map where I'm not outnumbered. It, it may not make any sense, but does to me just because there's there's so many things that go wrong that's kind of also why I prefer to rely on Artie if I can just set Artie up and have it shoot that's preferable to me uh, but they're kind of concentrated here around Sudley Springs I guess Roster was able to somehow ford that water and, and get out of there so good for them uh, but yeah I want Hood back if I can get him back. But he, he may not go back because now uh, 
he's up in contact and they may just not withdraw. I think that there actually I think there is a way to get them to withdraw. I think I got a now, I thought there was something in the AI. There was like an option to conduct a fighting retreat. And I still think there is, but I just can't find it at the moment. And so since we we I can't quite figure out how to withdraw. Buckner looks like although he's determined, he's he's kinda got those I don't know, his red is not solid red, which leads me to believe that there's a good chance that he'll break at some point down the road, but until that time we're going to move infantry over and just try to get the best engagements we can move our artillery up so it can shoot they say they're idle okay now they're at fire at will how are you guys you have full range you have full range yeah, I mean, they're at the, the kind of upper limits of what they can hit, but they are there. Uh, I'll try to get you guys... Uh, we'll just wait till your whole command gets in. We can order the arty up. Get everybody ready for battle, because Kit's men just fought the last battle. And don't know why they're going there. I think I ordered him to earlier. That I'm starting to remember that now. You're moving up. You're gonna eventually move up. Yeah, I'm guessing these guys have taken pretty sick casualties because I still haven't called them off their horse because I was trying to get them down and out. We'll see how they do now. Not sure. I think that cavalry with, with breastworks would be a pretty good way of, of also delaying uh, things a little bit later on. Uh, I want to get a quick peek to just make sure the HQ reports are all accurate. They look accurate. Yeah, so we got, we, we got a big advantage. We ought to try to use it. We're also supposed to have infantry coming up at, at some point. That should definitely help. You gotta get up. And I think if these get, uh, they got three inch ordnance. I was thinking the Napoleon should probably move up. Yeah, sorry, Hoods guys. I I really want you to fall back. Oh, you know, if I take initiative off, maybe I can get them to conduct that fighting retreat. I'm not sure. Also, notice that I haven't put any skirmishers out this time. Uh, though I could. And I guess they're having maybe some second thoughts about Sudley Springs. Need to give these guys long range. I'm not sure why long range isn't the default. It seemed to make good sense that it would be. Also move up the smoothbore Napoleons. Eh, we don't want them in the water. We can put them at the base of the hill shooting up. That's not too bad. Doing too great. It's all right though. And uh, they may not move. I don't know. So 
Catch him on the long range. Get him off that fence. Same thing, switch them on the long range. And that's why we bought those rifles. So that there are some matchups where we can hit them and they can't hit us, or they can't hit us as accurately. Breckenridge is moving up, he's got his guns. I gotta get Pelham up. Uh, I don't know where Pelham's gonna have a great angle. It's probably too far forward, but this is just another one of those leading with the artillery things that I do. Alright, that's fine. I want these guys to then push in and around. I don't know that we're going to be able to get far enough behind the Union line to cut off the retreat. I'm going to take a quick glance here. Uh, so everybody's in contact, but it's not like reinforcements have arrived for the other side. So that's good news. Um, I guess I'm trying to remember how to move. There we go. That's how we move the commander. Uh, let's see. we have any other stragglers? Uh, not r Oops. Not really. But I do want color up. That's all right. So we'll pump out some skirmishers to screen. Probably the best way to do this would be to have a coordinated attack so that everything's kind of happening at the same time. They can't just turn and shoot one way, then turn and shoot the other way. And we'll do that. Yeah, it's going to be a terrible idea for them to try to come up these springs. If I can now pull back Hood's Brigade, I don't want my cavalry getting massacred. I can also, I believe, build some breastworks. Yeah, we'll see if they get done. I don't know. I, uh, I like that they've added the button down here to do it. It's much easier. I know someone did explain it to me. Uh, it was very, very helpful, but I never actually got around to trying it. Actually, I wonder if we just put the... Oh, they have infantry over there. Ah, eh, maybe we won't do that. We'll have UT off on them. We'll have UT off on them. Ah, eh, they're okay. Oh, this cavalry should have been dismounted. And it should be able to shoot a little bit. What do we got here? Pettigrew, in contact, in contact. In contact is okay. Uh, can we build more breastworks? Let's build... Oh. Yes, we can. So not only do we have an elevated position and some cover, but we also have uh, breastworks. Um, I'm wondering. 
So you're attached over there. What happens if we just bring the artillery around over here as well? Because we, we, we got... I have way too much infantry and artillery kind of stacked up one on top of the other. It's unnecessary. So maybe if we bring them back and around it'll be a slightly better slightly better situation. I have no idea what it what it looks like consolidated. Yeah, we've taken a hammering. We're not really doing better than they are. Uh, <clears throat> considering we outnumber them, the, the casualties are basically split, which is really surprising. A little, I'm, I'm more than a little embarrassed. I mean, that's that's pretty bad. I don't know where the, the losses are. I know that there was some in that one cavalry group. I'm really not sure where the rest of them are. I don't see anything else on this map that's going... I don't see anything on the map that's really going poorly. These guys are just in a bad position down here, I don't... So they need to go long range, that's an easy fix. These guys are stable in Pelham's battery, I don't even know why it's that close though, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem like there's anything that's happening that would... that should make them concerned. I wonder if these breastworks are not actually built. Okay, so they weren't actually built yet. Send them around as new, no, not that way though. Send them around that way. I'm just. I'm, the only thing I can think of is that maybe it's. But friendly fire would still show up. That's one thing I always speculate about is that, you know, maybe friendly fire is a thing, maybe it isn't, but it, it kind of seems really beside the point. Right, you guys should probably mount those horses to move quickly. Puzzled by the closeness uh, in terms of kills. We got him almost two to one, which kind of makes sense. Wounded is dead even though. Missing is about two to one in our favor, but it's it's a very small number. guys doing here? Hood's Brigade, you're supposed to be moving over here. Okay, Hardy's over here. He needs to move up. But we're going to have Artie pointing down on them behind them. Hood should move up to cover eh, probably the one road out. 
Yeah. I get numbers there so that they can't easily press the arty. I guess because Hood got in contact, he's now not going to withdraw. Eh, you know, that is Hood. Sounds like him. I don't suspect too many of these batteries have very good, very good shots where they are. Just because of how steep the downhill is. They say they're engaged. I'm not sure how, if they're on the back side of this hill, they're engaged with the arty on the other side of this hill. But... Okay, you're lined up there. Now Bunker's detachment is starting to take some casualties. They can't be the only ones, though. Colin, most of your troops are over there, so why don't you move... Nope. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. McCullough yourself, why don't you move right over there? That should decrease the movement times to those units that are going far. Yeah, I just... I mean, these guys are behind... All sorts of stuff shooting down at infantry with basically no cover. Well, if you like the, the, the visuals of the game, then you're certainly getting your, uh, your due here. Because we're getting a lot. You can see the range of that Mississippi is much nicer the range of the old uh, mixed muskets. Still not sure how they're dragging Artie through the water. Must be that submersible artillery you hear all about. Yeah, you're going to go there go there. And then McCullough will be in an okay position for most of his troops. These guys, they haven't lost many. Holy moly! I think that that's, that can't be right though. It's all Dockery's Brigade. Well, it's almost all Dockery's Brigade. I don't know what they did my goodness. No, I don't want to order my army. I want to order... Good golly. So why can I not order one unit back? I don't... I don't get it. Uh, yeah, break contact and running is probably exactly what they should be doing. Oh, 
Hood's men are still up on their horses. You can see that this church has had... Holy moly, it doesn't exist anymore. Yikes. And yet the Union's still pushing. Artillery over there. All right, now that I know how to get people to retreat, I'm not gonna say it's better, but I should avoid that in future conflicts. It shows you how many times I've tried to retreat. <laughs> not high on my priority list. All right, Huger, you need to come back too. This is just, it's almost deafening. Are things over here? Rossers is taking a beating. Uh, I like Deadly Volley. Oh, Featherson's Battalion is... Looks like they've been doing almost nothing. Almost nothing. Reynolds withdraws. Enemy 2nd Division withdraws. Brigade. I want to give them. Ah, eh, maybe we'll give them Lightning Brigade just to change it up a little bit. Should also make them better infantry, which is kind of what they're doing now. No Union forces have arrived. That's a good thing. All right, we're moving. You're moving. You're all moving. push them ahead on casualties. Not a lot, but a little bit. It's no longer even. <sighs> a lot of their guys seem to be falling back here. I kind of agree, but I think they're going about it the wrong way. I think they need to fall back in a different direction. the targets I'm looking at. These guys... Yeah, they can fire down the hill like that. It's a huge looking battery. It doesn't look like there's much to obstruct their view. The Union General's got a little bit of Cornwallitis here. Is this field planted? Ah, oh, that field is planted. Let's say try to have this battery move up and around.
And I think one of the other reasons I'm taking high casualties is because I didn't use skirmishers. Um, I didn't. Uh, I didn't get the breastworks up in time. I think that there were those kind of mistakes, but they're not shooting at me with many guns, uh, many artillery pieces, and so. Yeah, I, I think not. I think it, it's it's a reminder of kind of the utility of skirmishers and what they save you, especially if you're strapped for manpower. Uh, we may be ahead on casualties, but in, in terms of what can both sides replace, I kind of feel like the Union's actually getting the the better of this because there's typically a far larger pool of recruits accessible to them. So. These kind of casualties are, are not ones we want to do every time, or even most of the time. I wonder if... Um, well, it takes them a while to move, so we'll just get them off their horses. And shooting down onto the uh, artillery there. Holy moly! Breckenridge's battalion has taken ridiculous casualties. The artillery group. I. Jeez. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that's from. Um. That's a small battery. That's only a four gun battery. That does not explain where Breckenridge's casualties came from. There's no way. It's four guns. Jeez. Uh, These guys also look like... Well, I think they might be the ones that have been nervous the whole game. Uh, still nervous now. Alright, let's bring McCullough around. Get with his men. These guys are over here on these bluffs. Uh, it's an okay position if that's what you're shooting for. I'm just gonna leave Dockery back. He's been pummeled so badly. That. I'm really amazed that this unit here, the 4th Brigade, they are just absolutely hanging in there. Let's see if we can reposition our cavalry. Because the battle's going long, this will be the, the only thing that really gets done on this installment, but. Fingers crossed, at least this video should go up. Can't always say that, but it should go up. Because it should be recorded. Yeah, a lot of my artillery seems more fragile than reason would, would allow. Kind of looks like the church just sank into the ground. But there's no real reason I see to melee them. I mean, we would take casualties on the way in. What's this battery got? Three guns. That gun's got four bat. That's a four gun battery. Okay, they're gonna shoot there. Did I order that? I have no idea why. Oh, something must have happened. I must have clicked something somewhere that sent these guys moving. Big mistake on my part. I don't know what I clicked. Still think that happens a bit too much.
Yeah, they're finally trying to retreat, which is makes makes sense. Uh, we now have artillery behind them and on their flanks and infantry and all the rest. So we'll see. It's still going to be a while before they can get off the map. It looks like this is the one road that's open. So maybe we'll. Eh, with only a minute left, I'm not. Or not a minute, but it's like that on here. We'll see if we can race some of our infantry up and cavalry and shoot them as they leave. It's the price they pay for not doing it earlier. There. I don't know how well the artillery is going to do plopping them down in a cornfield, but at least it's on some high ground. Yeah, go there. Those guys, I don't think they're going to hit much from there. Plop them down in a cornfield. I think they're far enough away that's kind of just all they can hope to hit at this point. Okay, they're there. They can fire at whatever they want now. Yeah, we really want to cover kind of these two intersections, and this is the one that's probably most likely they're most likely to use because it's the most open road back. So surrounded on Logan, I I think that they have to have the opportunity to surrender, or, or that the AI would make use of this. I mean, if the AI seemed, eh. Definitely doing well in the fight for a while. We'll get the uh, final casualty totals when we do. Did I use the, did I move this battery up too far? I don't remember moving them up there, honestly, but somebody had to do it. battery up so we can actually see down the hill. Yeah, so it looks like now we kind of have the full surround on. Their commander should really just surrender those troops. At this point, there's nothing left to do. There's nothing to fight for. You've already ordered their withdrawal. It's just you need to withdraw earlier. This guy still didn't take any casualties, even being up that for having been up that close. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's a bad place to be, but it uh, just about sums it up. Sherman hightailed it. All right, we'll increase the speed here as the turkey shoot comes to an end. Why is that battery running through there? Oh, I don't know what that was about. Um, anyways, a little under 2,000 for me, a little about 5,000 of them. Uh, yeah, I mean, overall, it it was probably a minor. I, I know they say it was a major victory. Uh, but with respect to the the casualty ratio, it wasn't wasn't that good. One percentage point drop. All right. Now 
I kind of understand how fame works. Hmm. Mixed bag. Okay. So that was what? Let's see what's retreating now. Hmm. Am I going to see the flags? Am I going to be able to zoom in ever again? Okay, there we go. See. See if there's movement after that or what the movement is after that. There will be movement. Ooh. Let's see if we can do a tour. I don't think so. So, no. I mean, this this video's going 42 minutes or so, and I don't know, even the last battle seemed, to, seemed a bit long, but at least you know where things should start for the uh, next video. All right, until then, I uh, hope you stay well.